It's hammer time. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of my life. Guys, if you stuck around for this long, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you do. I know I know 2017 was hard for a lot of people. I know that 2017 was actually a struggle to get through, and I know a lot of people were facing a lot of injustices and just terrible things happening to them personally in 2017, because it was rough. It was rough for everybody. But 2017 was my year, girl. I got a great job. Things are going well with my photography and video production. Everything I ever wanted is just happening. That's actually why I haven't been around a lot on YouTube, because I've been so busy with everything else and all these other projects and haven't had time for you guys. And I apologize for that. But I want to be more inside your life. I want to be more inside you, personally. I figured, you know what will be the best way to get to know me again? Ask me a few questions and get in some answers. So I'm going to answer a bunch of questions that you guys asked. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with everyone's favorite porn site, Tumblr. I know that I am beautiful. You is, girl. But my right ass cheek is notably larger than my left one. And I want the madness to end. What exercises could I do to even them out? <laughs> Lucky for you. I'm pretty much a booty expert. A bootyologist. You can actually do some isolated exercises to work on one leg rather than the other one so that you can actually have even booty cheeks. There's a one leg squat you could do. You can also focus on lunges on one side. And you can also do a one leg deadlift as well too. And if this video has enough likes and you guys really want me to, I can actually make a whole video dedicated to my butt routine. And with my knowledge, you can have a booty to make the earthquake shake. <sighs> have any of your exes told you that they regret breaking up with you? <laughs> well, being my first boyfriend, we're actually still best friends. I consider him basically family at this point. And no, my second ex never actually told me that he regrets breaking up. <laughs> but he gonna. What you What do you want to do after high school? I'm like 30. Is something irritating you right now? Actually, yes. The entire month of December, I kept injuring things at the gym. And right now, I pulled my booty cheek, my glute. I hate my life, I hate everything about it. I have the world's thinnest skin. All oh, this is serious. What should I do? Should I retreat to the wilderness and pray to the animals to accept me? Because I'm honestly just not cut out to be a human. Well, kind sir, you've come to the right place. In the past, yeah, I had really thin skin. It was really easy to get to me. It was really easy to just take everything personal and take everything, you know, against myself. And it was really easy to hurt my feelings or to get attached to somebody and be afraid of losing them. Or constantly thinking that, you know, I'm a burden on somebody else or that I shouldn't be a person. I kept thinking that, you know, maybe I'm just not good enough to be with another person or to be happy. But what you have to do is constantly remind yourself that, you know, it's okay to mess up. It's okay to screw up and it's okay to not always get what you want. <sighs> There we go. And you have to be okay with the fact that you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna mess up. You're gonna fuck up a lot of the times. Yeah, you're gonna do something where you screw up badly. And there's gonna be times where you feel like you're an idiot, or you're dumb, or you're just like you're not good enough, or you're worried about what other people think about you. But every time one of those obstacles come your way, you have to find a way to overcome it, and also find a way where you can actually be better than that. And also remind yourself that you are better than that. Just remember that that is only one moment in time, and you, what you have to do is take that as a learning experience and learn not to do it again, or learn to improve yourself and always become a better version of yourself. That's why constantly tried to do for years and eventually it started to pay off like I do actually feel very confident whether I do one thing or the other thing people are always going to judge you people are always going to judge me people are always going to just judge because that's just how who we are as people we love to have our opinions matter we just always feel like we have to have a voice for every single thing about other people's lives and you have to remember what you say about yourself okay just do it do it for me do it for Johnny why do I love men even though I know they are stupid and have no respect for them I've been <laughs> I've been on that boat for years I don't know and look if you're out there playing the field, hopping on one day to the next day, constantly like a pogo stick. It's like, oh, damn. Yeah, you're gonna encounter a lot of idiots. People who might try to manipulate you, or mistreat you, or just don't know how to actually interact, or people who are just so emotionally unattached that they can't actually form an actual relationship. And yeah, you're gonna find a lot of guys who suck. And also a lot of guys who aren't good for you. But eventually through all that, you're gonna find that one guy, that one guy, a decent human being who wants to be with you and actually gonna treat you right and put you first. Why is being in the closet starting to hurt me? There's never enough room. When you're in the closet, you're blocking yourself off from your own happiness. You can't actually be your full self. Sometimes you can find places where you can be more open and more of yourself. But while you're living in the closet, you can't really just be your true self and it takes a strain on you. It's kind of like living with depression. It sucks. You know where you have like all these sad feelings inside, kind of want the whole world to see you as this happy, fun, go lucky, magical, man and settle down with a beautiful woman, raise 2.5 children, and just live the American dream. But really you're dead inside. And you have to pretend to be that to sue other people. Well, really, you're not really enjoying who you are. Because there's times where you just want to come home, you want to relax, you want to be your real self. You want to take off your shoes, unstrap your bra, 
and just let the girls hang. And for some people, it's not that easy to come out. It's not that easy to actually be in an environment where, you know, you're accepted. And sometimes you're even afraid to lose your family or lose the people who love you the most because they won't accept that part of who you are. <laughs> if they really do love you, they should accept you for who you are. Yeah, it will take some time. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy adjustment, but eventually in time, they will learn to accept you because you're you and you can't change who you are. But there's no time limit on how long you have to be in the closet for. But you, when you feel like you're ready and you feel like you can be safe doing it, then by all means. Family doesn't always mean blood. Sometimes the family are all the people that you bring together in your life who love you for the person that you are. I'd hardcore snuggle with you if I owned you for 24 hours. Oh, hey. All right, this one I love. I'm gonna have to put you on blast. I'm sorry about that. There was so much build up going towards this. Are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, yeah, I've been doing QAs for like ever. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. And you will answer no matter what. Um, yeah. What's one thing you wouldn't do with your partner sexually? I'm just like, really? That's the question after all that build up. That was like three days of dialogue. Now what size homemade butt plug do you own? Not did you have a fuck a peach and make your partner eat it? And then make him call you by your name. Mm. Not if you validate parking. So as I came out before, I'm technically demisexual, which is a thing apparently. Ha, ha, ha. Honestly, I define myself as gay because just like, you know, I love me some men. I fall between the spectrum of, you know, homosexual and asexual. According to Wikipedia, that defines me as a demisexual. Which means I'm not really that sexual a person. I'm just not. I may joke about it. I may do some hot hot some tea, some ho-hos. But in real life, most of my nights are just like me sitting in a corner eating a can of tuna. You know, I miss some tuna. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have a fetish. But you know, with a partner and with someone to actually see myself with and somebody I actually love or actually not care about, I'm willing to do a couple of things, you know, do a couple of tricks and shit. <laughs> I mean, I ain't an acrobat, but I can take you to the circus. But one thing I can never do is water sports, which apparently, according to my knowledge, has nothing to do with jet skiing. Also, a lot of people have foot fetishes, which I like to refer to as nubby leg hands. I just, I can't do it. I, I, I can't. I just, I don't. I don't want you near my feet. I don't. I'm also ticklish, so just like, chances are if you try to touch my feet, I will, by instinct, accidentally kick you in the face. Speaking of which, tickle play, also a thing. People are into it. Just can't. No. Uh-uh. I'm very ticklish, so if you try to tickle me, I will actually punch you in the face. Not by accident. Don't touch me. Also diaper play. Never. Ever. Also anything regarding furries. No ma'am. Aren't you black? I'm half Puerto Rican and half Native American. Some people are just like, oh yeah, he's black. Some people are just like, oh no, he's not black. I don't even know. It's a whole civil war. I'm very tired. I'm just me. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm still poor. I know you're probably not gonna see this. Bitch, you thought. But if you do, can you tell me how you came up with your YouTube channel name? Because I'm an idiot. This one is actually my third YouTube channel. <laughs> my original channel name was 00, my last name, M-A-I-S, 00. And I was trying to explain it to my friend and I accidentally said double double zero. And that name stuck. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Leave a comment below, ask me some questions, and you'll get some answers. Some you won't like, some you might like. I don't know, it depends on what you're into. I have a whole bunch of projects coming this year that I'm really excited for, and I'm also gonna really dedicate all my time to that. But I'm gonna try to make a video for you guys at least once a week. And if you guys wanna see more of me, check out my vlog channel. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome. Bye.